Hey there guys, this is uh, Eric. Uh, I'm doing another video just to kind of add on to uh, the vlog thing going on here. So, um, but yeah, anyway, so um, yeah, I went out to Harbor Freight today and did some uh, shopping around. Also went out to a local welding shop and uh, got some stuff there as well. So um, anyway, yeah, uh, I'll show you what I got here. Just gonna do some unboxing and- So uh, I uh, um, went out and pa uh, picked up a new welding helmet. The my, uh, I actually never really had one. I only had the uh, the goggles or the cutting goggles. So now they just weren't cutting it anymore. So I was borrowing my uh, neighbor's welder for a while, and, or a uh, neighbor's helmet, and uh, um, yeah. So I uh, decided to go get my own finally. So this is the one with the racing stripes, and I got a, a the the extended protection plan or whatever. It's only nine dollars. So uh, yeah, and this one has a. Uh, solar flares on it. Pull it out of the box here. And it uh, has uh, an extra um, protective lens for um, the splatter and whatnot. It goes right here on the front. So, um, also comes in with instructions. Cool. So, yeah. So, um, but yeah, right here it's uh, solar powered. You can tell it uh, from the lens there on top. And it has a pretty decent size uh, viewing. Um, viewing space it's a uh, three seven eighths by uh, one and three quarter um looks like it's pretty pretty decently quick um for a uh, speed and everything for uh, auto uh, darkening so yeah i'm gonna cover it here Nice and shiny. I always like a nice shiny new tool. It says, pull this off. <laughs> nice, new, and shiny. So, yeah, looks pretty nice. Got a little uh, styling going on there. So, um, but I got the adjuster here for uh, the different speeds or the quickness and whatnot and depending on what you're welding and back here we have a adjustable the push push style which is okay but yeah and then you got a looks like a cloth there for your sweat to gather and then um, got a protective lens on the inside the cheater lens and whatnot and you got a sensitivity high and low and a delay time slow and fast so uh, and it uses the clip style uh, um, a pin here so um, yeah looks pretty nice can't wait to use it and I went down to the local welding shop today and uh, bought some of these uh, onyx I hear they're some of the great um, good uh, welding gloves uh, the one I have are they're used and they got wet uh, in the last winter so um, and they're just uh, arc welding gloves and they got yeah they're not really great but uh, these are onyx um, Pigskin uh, MIG welder gloves, and um, they're uh, actually uh, pigs. Yeah, they're pigskin, and they're really nice. They're large, of course, so um, they fit me quite well. They're um, they're only uh, twenty bucks, so uh, yeah, they're pretty nice. And I heard they're uh, supposed to be one of the the greatest sets that they have there at that store. So uh, another thing I went and picked up from Harbor Freight is a new regulator uh, for my welder because uh, the one I picked up. Uh, the Hobart there, I uh, it uh, didn't actually have one. It has the hose and everything, but no no regulator. So let's open this up here. Got some instructions, some hardware. For some reason my camera's not focusing. There we go. And uh, got the regulator here. For the hose, it goes uh, kind of like a push style and just push it in there and it clamps on. And the regulator itself. So you can see the gauges there. and um, That's from uh, on your welder going out and that's your tank pressure. It looks like it has a bleeder screw and it has a, that's always nice. 
open and close so that way you know which way is which way is what and that goes on your tank and then this comes out to uh, your welder looks pretty decent it uh, gauges are okay they look kind of flimsy but I'm sure it'll work out I hope so yeah so there's that And then I also picked up some of these magnets. I hear these kind of are these coming handy. These are the six and a half inch um, welding magnets. Also from Chicago. <laughs> um, yeah, they hold uh, metal at 45, 90, and 135. Um, makes it, it's kind of like a third hand type thing. Uh, they're pretty decent. Um, I'm gonna build some of these roll or not roll cages, uh, roof racks that I have right up here. Um, so if you're interested, you can. Uh, Hit me up and I'll make you one. They're pretty pretty nice. I also have a, a video of one on how it's built. So, um, but they're just 90s and easy stuff. So I figured this way it kind of helped me with the joints and whatnot and uh, getting everything lined up together. So, and I bought two of them. I have uh, two smaller ones that are four inches, and those just weren't strong enough. So I decided to get a stronger set. So, and I picked some of these up. They're just generic uh, earmuffs. They're only like two bucks or like a dollar ninety nine. Uh, grinding on stuff and whatnot. Uh, it gets kind of noisy in here. So, I also uh, picked up a new set of welding pliers because uh, the last set that I had was not really a set of welding pliers. They were actually just a pair of uh, uh, needle nose pliers. <laughs> so, but these ones are pretty nice. They got the um, um, the tip um, holder here. We got a pair of like needle nose style, and then uh, um, the um, the other tip. I forgot what it's called. The, 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 that has the different size or something like that on it. It has the 030 and the 023 and the 035, 040, whatever tip right there. And then a pair of snips as well. So and they're only eight bucks. And uh, so yeah, they're pretty nice. And then I also got this right here for helping with my uh, angles and whatnot, or my uh, measuring. Uh, heavy duty uh, square, T-square. It uh, has a, a level and a bubble there. It has a a machine finish on the end and uh, I think it's a 12 inch yeah 12 inch uh, ruler attached to it with a 45 so I have a 90 and a 45 so um, yeah I uh, I figured it'd be kind of nice to kind of help out with the angles and cutting and whatnot so then that way I can get a little more accurate a cut so um, especially if I'm gonna start selling things and whatnot for uh, different people they want a little more uh, accuracy on their on their products so and then I just gotta yeah, an ad. So, but yeah, all in all, this is what I picked up. So I got uh, the new welding helmet, a uh, new regulator for my welder, um, set of welding pliers, two uh, six and a quarter, um, uh, quarter inch, a uh, multi-purpose um, kind of magnets, 90 degrees and 45s and 135. And I have a, a combination square here with a 45 and a 90 on it, along with a 12 inch ruler. A set of Onyx uh, welding gloves, pig, uh, pigskin size, uh, large uh, set of earmuffs. Um, just kind of help with uh, general grinding and whatnot to kind of help with a uh, little extra protection. So, but yeah, so this is all what I got today. I spent about, uh, I don't know, probably 150 bucks or so uh, with everything and then plus gas and whatnot. So, but anyway, uh, I'm going to go uh, open it up here and set it all up. So, alrighty, we'll see you later.